welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video on my foundation routine and this is the final look. You guys requested it and I wanted to bring it to you guys and I thought that it was a really good idea. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you are interested in my foundation routine then just keep watching. We have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin, let the wonder take hold. Feel it draw you in, watch the moment unfold. Spark a dream that we're meant to follow, setting out for a new tomorrow. First thing that I start off with is moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use is the CVS Pharmacy Moisturizer Lotion. It is basically like the Cetaphil, I believe, lotion. Um, I use this just to moisturize because even though I do have really oily skin, it is important to moisturize. I do have some dryness around my nose because of the changing in the weather. So it's important to moisturize regardless. Um, it just helps your makeup to go on smoother. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Even if you have oily skin, you should moisturize, even if it's just a light moisturizer. Next up, my favorite primer that I have been using for quite some time is the Rimmel 8 Hour Lasting Finish Makeup Primer, and it is the red bottle. Um, I really like this stuff. It makes your face uh, really tacky, and it helps to keep everything on all day, which is what I'm going for with a primer. Um, so basically, I just take it like this on my face, just a few dots, and rub it in. Alright, and now that that's rubbed in, I will go in with two different um, types of primer depending on what I'm going for. If I want something that's just going to smooth over my pores, I will go with a mix of two primers, the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing and the Sonia Kashuk uh, Perfecting Mattifying Primer. These two go really well together if I just want to smooth over my pores. They don't specifically keep my face matte all day, but they do make it um, look really nice under the foundation. If I'm going to say Disney or someplace crazy where I definitely have the chance of sweating off my makeup, I will use my Alcone Stop the Sweat Primer. This stuff is like, they use it on movie sets. Um, I got it at Camera Ready Cosmetics. I'm gonna link where I got everything down below so that you guys can check it out, but this stuff is like movie set, like professional grade stuff for um, just stopping sweat from coming through your makeup. The way that I actually do the Alcone stuff is I take a cotton pad and I take the Stop the Sweat and I basically open it up and just like turn it over and like saturate the pad and then I just take it and run it along all of my oily places until it kind of has like a stiff feeling and it's clear so it dries completely clear um, there's no like weird residue to it or anything it's really nice let me do my other primers so what I normally do is I take like a pump of both I put the Sonia Kashuk one first and this I only focus in my like, in like the middle of my face. I don't really need it in the outside area. And then I take the Smashbox and put that over top. The Sonia Kashuk is good at just taking away the shine. The Smashbox is what really gets into the pores and completely fills them in. That is what I do for primer, and I use 
these three if you don't specifically have oily skin but you do want a primer I would really recommend the Rimmel one just because it gets tacky and it keeps your makeup on um, it doesn't really do anything for oils it just helps with keeping your makeup on which I think is really important Okay, so my next step is actually spraying my face with setting spray. Um, I got this idea from Kinsey Mac Brown on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. If you love my channel, I think you would love her channel so much. She's so fun. Um, she used to work at Disney, so she has a whole bunch of videos on that. Um, but I highly recommend checking her out. It's important to set your base just as important as it is to set the rest of your face when your entire foundation is on and I feel like that makes sense so <laughs> I do a setting spray in the middle of my routine and at the end this stuff it says that it's the all-nighter spray but I actually replaced um, it with a different spray what I currently have in there is the Ben Nye Final Seal Makeup Setter. Um, this stuff keeps your makeup matte, but it's definitely like one of those things where it's like industrial strength. If I get it in my hair, it's like hairspray. It's kind of crazy, but I have really, really oily skin, so this really helps me. I personally need it, but you may not. So I just do a really light mist of that, and I let it dry. And that is my base. Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's talk about foundations. I have tried so many matte foundations and my absolute favorite right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have two different shades. Um, I like to take these two and mix them. There is a shade in between these shades. I just got the wrong shade so I mix them. <laughs> Um, I really like this stuff. It's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. It's not the dewy and smooth. I've heard that one isn't very good from a few friends, so I don't know. I just take it and I just like mix it together with a makeup brush. You can mix it with like a palette knife if you're fancy and you have a fancy mixer, but I don't, so... I just use a makeup brush and then whatever is left on this brush I will put on the side of my face that I'm going to start working on. I recommend working in sections because foundation can dry down depending on what foundation you have and then you might end up with a face that just doesn't look very good. Um, I currently have two different sponges. I have the Real Technique sponge and the Beauty Blender. Everybody likes this one better or they like this one better. I don't really mind either way. This one is good for setting makeup because it has this big um, flat surface. So I'm probably going to use this for setting makeup and this today for blending my makeup. And this is a damp Beauty Blender. So I like to keep it damp. I know that using it dry um, can help to increase your coverage, but I feel like damp helps it to blend into the skin better. I will get it on my lips, not for any specific reason just because I feel like it helps to blend the foundation around my lips better. And I totally make weird foundation faces. People always say weird mascara faces, but in order for me to get my foundation all over my face, I have to go like this. <laughs> And it's really important to get this line right here. This is where people go wrong. Um, if you don't blend your makeup down this line, you can tend to have some just really awkward, like, I don't know. It just looks like you have a fake face, like a mask on. And now that I have all of that done, I am going to go in with my concealer. So I currently um, am using two different kinds of concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I have these in 
fair and light neutral just because this matches my regular face really well and this is really good for under eyes and I like to mix the Tarte Shape Tape in light or in fair <laughs> with the Naked Skin in fair for underneath my eyes. So I just go under my eyes like this. And then I take the shape tape and dot that under as well. And I like to let this sit for a little bit because um, if you blend in your concealer right away, it can tend to kind of shear down the coverage. And if that's what you want, that's fine. But <laughs> I personally don't want to have like no coverage because my under eye circles are kind of crazy. So what I'm going to do is just go in and spot conceal with the uh, darker, the light neutral shade in the shape tape. So I just go into spots where I would like a little bit extra coverage. And I am going to blend all of this in, so I will come back when I am done with that. I just wanted to zoom in to show you guys, when I do my under eye concealer, I like to take it onto my waterline and up on my lid, which is kind of standard, but I like to pull down my eye and put the concealer on my waterline. And you can see I did it over here as well. And this is just because I find that if you put your concealer, you carry it into this bottom part of your eye where like all of your baby eyelashes are on the bottom and onto the waterline, it makes everything so much brighter. But this is just personal preference. Now that I have all of this done, I'm going to go into setting powder and what would I use other than the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, everyone uses this. I just jumped on the bandwagon. I really like it. Um, I'm taking the Real Techniques brush and this <laughs> blender. And this is damp. Um, I use the setting powder damp as well. What I do is I go in with this beauty blender and I press into the crease to make sure that there isn't any creasing around my eye or the area that I'm going to set and then I'll set that area. So basically when I'm setting I'm just pressing out creases with this, setting with this, and then doing the same thing with the next part of my face. And I personally don't bake. Um, I find that it makes my makeup look really cakey and weird, so I don't bake my face. All I do is I press powder into my face, like this. I do it the same way that I do my concealer and my foundation, where I'm just kind of like bouncing everything. And I also do set that um, line of concealer on my bottom waterline. Alright, and that is my face. I'm gonna just brush off any extra powder. Like that. Next up, I'm just going to be taking a natural blush. Doesn't matter which one, whatever you think looks good on you. Um, this blush is from Bin Nye, but you can get your blush from anywhere. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And then last but not least for my foundation, 
I'm going to take a highlighter. This one is from Becca, and it is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And I'm just going to take a little bit on a brush. I don't like blinding highlight. I just like a natural highlight. And I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones. And a little bit on my nose. After all that, I just went back in with my final seal setting spray. So I'm sorry that this is probably a little bit different from the original setup. My camera ran out of storage, but this is the final look for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this foundation routine. You guys really requested it, so I wanted to do it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you are having an absolute... I hope that you're having an absolutely magical day. If not, here's a little bit of pixie dust for you guys. If you guys don't feel loved and appreciated today, please be sure to message me and I will make you feel loved and appreciated. That's really important to me that you guys feel the love that I feel from you guys all the time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.